evening cult members and welcome to the Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. And this is going to be our discussion reaction review of episode 6 of She-Hulk. This one's called Just Jean. <laughs> uh, just Jenny from the block. Um, uh, and we are not going to be the only ones who make that joke. <laughs> um, okay. So the previously on talks about... Um, uh, it starts with Bruce saying, now that I've analyzed your blood and realized what you have and showing him if, is, is incinerating the blood, and then they show the fight. Right, uh, where they tried to take her blood. Take her blood yeah. and stuff. Um, and, and so it was like, oh, so we're going to deal with that. And then we got the tease last week of of uh, Matt Murdock, specifically Daredevil. Um, so everybody was all like, okay, here we go. We're going to get into it, whatever. And then they subvert expectations by saying <laughs> uh, we're having a wedding episode right and jen looks at the at the tv looks at us the viewers breaks the fourth wall looks at us and says uh weddings a wedding of course we're going to interrupt everything with a wedding because that's how weddings work right and who has a wedding on a thursday <laughs> um i don't know that was <laughs> the only time they could book the venue it was cheaper on a thursday because lulu is um an ass <laughs> fair not quite bride bridezilla but she makes a point of saying the staff is all leaving because of the way i'm treating them or something shocking <laughs> yeah can you pick up and here's the laundry <laughs> the jam. Uh, i don't think she was actually marrying anybody we never saw who she got married to so yeah we never saw it was... we never saw the groom that was yeah, very interesting i think it was just made up it um, the wedding itself, uh, when Jen is at, gets there, she shows up in the, uh, uh, in the blue polka dotted dress that we've been seeing in the trailers and she looks great because now she actually has clothes that fit her, uh, cause Luke as, made, as she Hulk, as yes. she Hulk. Yes. yes. Um, and Lulu has the point of can't be doing she Hulk. This is my day. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. And so the rest of the episode is pretty much just Jen being in outfits that are way too big for which right i just find hilarious right i mean pack two outfits i don't know <laughs> i don't know i also want to point out too that the bridesmaid dress was actually fit she hulk better so lulu knew the entire time right the brides yeah the bridesmaid dress was made to fit she hulk so i don't i mean they don't go into it but i don't like did she did jen go by herself did she send her the measurements right right she just had lulu just had it made i don't i the reason i bring it up is because i have a theory because very conveniently uh uh titania titania is at the wedding yeah so we never see the groom the bridesmaid's dress is fit for she hulk titania tries to beat up jen enough to get she hulk out so they can have a fight and so it it almost feels like Titania was behind the wedding yeah. to get She-Hulk there. Yeah. I don't know. It just, it, yeah, it all felt very weird. Like, and her friend, and I can't remember her name, um, Jen's, the, her, like, Nikki, Nikki was even saying, like, why are you, why are you a bridesmaid? You haven't even talked yeah. to her in yeah. forever. We're, f we're figuring this out. There's a mystery <laughs> here. I'm Sherlock. She's Watson. That's pretty much how it works. Uh, but I, 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 as we like through the episode, I'm like I'm I'm, I'm having fun with this episode, but yeah. I have like I'm like watching along, like what is going on? Yeah. Like why are we doing this? And Titania last week said this wasn't over. Yeah, and and so like it, it's it, it it just it felt out of place until we start having this conversation that it maybe it wasn't out of place. Maybe it yeah, was. It better not be the the cute guy that was that Josh. Was jo yeah, that Josh was, was cool. On her and yeah. he, better, he better not be like the bad guy that's there to try to get her blood or whatever. That'll be mad. I would be mad too because Jen, because this was the first episode we've been talking about how um, She-Hulk has all the confidence. Yeah. Jen doesn't. And this, and the last episode, la uh, the last episode, um, during the trial as She-Hulk, it was very much Jen coming out because of what was going on throughout the trial of her establishing herself actually as She-Hulk so Titania would stop 
using the name and stuff. Right. It was very much the, the shyness or un- insecurity of Jen. And then this episode, we get Jen just being herself you know, and actually having somebody be interested in her, but also finds it cool that she's She-Hulk. Yeah. Like, like yeah. It, so it was yeah. a very much of a, a play against type as we've been going along. So if it is Josh, we riot. Right. <laughs> she deserves to have somebody who likes her for her and not the parade of douches that were brought out at the trial last week. <laughs> I mean, the last guy at least owned up to the fact that he wasn't interested in, uh, and, in and, Jen. And that but... was the one guy that that was the one guy she slept with. But that was the one guy I was like, good on him for being honest. Yeah. I, yeah. You know, I not mean, everybody, not every type of person is attracted to every type of person. Right. And that's and that's fine. But the you know, to have somebody say that in front of everybody and then the rest of them were just, you know. But Josh was very uh uh I loved his slick I don't know how to introduce myself to strangers, but I thought I would work on the cute girl sitting on the bench eating candy nuts yeah. by herself yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Like that was that's a that's a good that's a that's a good line. That's a <laughs> that's a good um but this whole episode um, continues to make you think about the thought process, or at least the conversation they've been having, is the male gaze and how um, the internet has kind of been taking shots at She-Hulk and Miss Marvel and Captain Marvel and stuff like that. Because they had, we have all the stuff that's going on at the wedding, and then back at the law firm. Um, they, uh, Nikki and I can't remember the other attorney's <laughs> name, I can't let the name, um, are working on a divorce proceedings that Jen was supposed to do. And it's Mystery Mortal. And he's got eight former wives and a husband who are all looking for um, compensation. Be- because, yeah, because he just, di- he can't end any, uh, he can't end anything. He, he just, Kills him, kills himself to get out of whatever uncomfortable situation he's in, including marriages and a conversation in a lawyer's office. Right. So, right. so now they're all like, "No, we want compensation." And and uh, his lawyers like, you know, this could be so much worse. Because, right. You know, right. insurance fraud and and everything. And, so. and but the that whole conversation going on there is how men just kind of leave relationships without without any really cause. They just decide one day, I don't want to be with you anymore. And so they leave. And and all after all of, during all of that, they get the intelligentsia mm-hmm. um, conversation where um, super powered or enhanced people are being, talked about online and so they set up an account they watch him die because he jumps out the window they watch him die and then uh, there's a link on the side that is about she hulk right and so they set up an account and they make a point of saying nikki and the mm, um (laughs) make a point of like i just uh it's it's very much a um uh men bashing Antifa uh, kind of propaganda website kind of feel to it because it's she not put, men bashing no men bashing women uh, okay not men being yeah bashed. I was trying to figure out a word it the right way I don't but, know if I would say that it was I mean it's um definitely the and I can't think of the name of it there's like a on the dark web is it, it's it is it Antifa I don't think it is um but there's a there's like a website on the dark web, like, you know, that talks about all this kind of conspiracy theory stuff. That's, yeah, and, that's where I was kind of, yeah. That's, yeah. Um, you know, they're talking about like, going to kill her and stuff. And I think that might, uh, whoever's going after her might be the antagonist for a lot of that stuff. Fueling that fire. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, but they made a point of saying, I just, uh, like they had to answer a bunch of questions to set up an account so they could watch this video. And Nikki said, I just put in a bunch of things that men have said to me Yeah, to, to set up this account. And they get in there and they find out that there's, there's death threats against 
yeah. She Hulk, and yeah. and, and mm, 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 <laughs> told Nikki not to tell Jen that she doesn't need to have this hanging over her head, which it's it's not wrong to think that. It's not wrong to to think I don't want my friend to know this because it's going to cause them pain. Right. It's not wrong to think that. But these are death threats against her. But she, what is she going to do about it? Yeah, and that's that's the thing. Like, you're you're not wrong for not telling her, but you're also not wrong for telling her. Maybe not over a cell phone message. <laughs> uh, Nikki needs some people skills, a little bit better piece of people skills. But but it's not wrong. It's not wrong either way. I yeah. don't think. And so having that kind of um, that kind of conversation. And then the last scene is um, them talking. There's they're in some lab yeah. about, and they're talking about the needle they tried. The the gang tried to stab her with in episode three or wherever it was. And then this time there's a much more robust, <laughs> yeah, needle. And so you've got like what Titania is trying to pull. Is she working for somebody to try to pull Jen out as She Hulk to put her in the line of fire? Um, it, you've got this website who's trying to, or at least threatening to kill She-Hulk. And then you have this group who are trying to get her blood. And so it's been a really, kind of a real, real slow rollout of about what the main story has been with this show mm -hmm. under the umbrella of also having the conversation of just how women are treated in the world. Uh, every day, and it's just, it's like, okay, uh, I, I, we're starting to get into the teeth of what this, I think, the show is going to end up being MCU-wise, with also the other stuff going on. Right. How many episodes was this? I think it's supposed to be 12. Okay. 12 half-hour episodes. I yeah. want to say, I want to say, um, but it's definitely setting up something, because a lot of the discussion that's going on out in the world right now in the independentry world or the speculation world of the MCU is that the person who wants all of this blood from Jin is the leader who is uh, Samuel Lopez. No, I just looked it up. Um, <laughs> who is the scientist who helps Bruce and in the Incredible Hulk, who is going to be the big bad in Captain America um, uh, New World Order. Right, and they're bringing back the guy that actually was the the actor yeah. from uh, Samuel Incredible. Stern, something like that. Yeah, is the character name. But they're bringing back the actor who played him. Yeah, who had the big brain stuff because he got injected with, or he got, um, um, Bruce's blood dropped into him, or it was a super soldier serum with the blood? It was something like. I, yeah, I, it's been a while since we watched Incredible <laughs> Hulk, so. Uh, but but that is definitely kind of pointing all the arrows to this direction. Yeah, yeah. That he's going there. Yeah. And so, again, we're talking about, you know, everything counts within the MCU. We're just getting a yuck, yuck, have, have fun thing. Yeah. With She-Hulk. Yeah. Just, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm really like, well, um, <clears throat> you know, when these episodes are 30 minutes, like, you're just like, it's like, boom, 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 let's go. Yeah. <laughs> trying to think of anything else that we missed that we talked the fight was fun. Yeah, with oh. Titania getting her veneers broke out. Broke out, which was just <laughs> hilarious because she slipped on the ice. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, Jen's cousin was doing was the DJ. <laughs> he has no. <laughs> he has no like, clue. No, no clue how to do DJ. <laughs> the the fight he, song. He picked some random song for the for the wedding fight. He even announced the wedding fight, and it's yeah. like you know. Yeah. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I don't remember what the song was, but, but come on. DJ, play me a song to kick my buddy's ass. <laughs> <laughs> the quote Tony Stark. Tony Stark. <laughs> Who is gonna be in uh not Tony Stark, but Rhodey is gonna be in some stuff here coming up very soon. <laughs> uh so I guess that's it for this episode. Yeah. Uh but yeah, we're starting to get into it. So let us know what you thought of this episode and our discussion. Reaction and review, review in the comments down below. Please be nice. That's a requirement around here. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications. And follow us on all the social medias. Like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Links in the description down below. And until next time, call members. Can you tell I had coffee? Good afternoon. Good evening. And good night.